What's up YouTube, it's your boy Chuck L. Welcome back to the channel. Two months ago, I was able to purchase this trailer. And I'm gonna teach you guys how I was able to get my my license plate at a local automotive tag place, all right? Stay tuned to find out how I did that. difficult I went to my local automotive tag place and I had the title in my hand I showed him proof of that um, I needed $1,600 for the state to process the title and I did that with a check so the $1,600 is the amount I paid in order to have the state which in Pennsylvania for us is PennDOT that's the price it costs to get the plate registered in my name. I didn't get it registered in my business name. I got it registered in my name. And at the local Ortec place that I went to, their fee was $110. I'm not sure if all the local Ortec place in Pennsylvania is the same price, but that's how much I paid at the local Ortec place that I went to. And I also needed my driver's license, which is my, you know, CDL. I showed it to them so I could show proof of ownership that, you know, they could match my ID with the person's name on the title. And I verify who I am when I am registering this place to this trailer. Now, the next step, you could do it three different ways. You could take a picture with your phone of the VIN, which is the plate in front mine was in the front of my trailer and basically I took a picture of the whole plate and I also zoomed in and took a picture of the VIN so that way they could verify that it matches what's on the title and another option if you don't want to do that you could get some tracing paper and just trace the plate that shows the spec of your trailer here is a picture of what it would look like And the last thing you could do, if you don't want to do those two, you could go to a PA shop and have them fill out a MV41 form. And that's to basically verify your VIN so that way it can match the title if you don't want to bring the picture or do the VIN tracing. And the last thing I need to do was show proof of the GVW, which is your gross vehicle weight. Once I did all that, they gave me my plates, and I went, put it on my trailer, and I was good to go. So it was a very simple process. It's not as difficult as when you uh, trying to play the truck, if you guys saw the process I went to. So, I mean, it was very simple, very easy, and I was able to get my plates the same day. And the plates that I got are not non-expired, so I don't have to keep... Um, re-registering them it's a one-time thing and I'm good to go I hope this information was informal don't forget to like don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I will catch you guys on the next one all right